Uh, very good morning everyone uh, in this session hello friends we will discuss how to design cylindrical dielectric resonator antenna excited with HM1 on Dell mode using micro stiff feed so this is the way how this will be look like here it is a uh, pictorial that is an engineering drawing of uh, dielectric resonator antenna it is the cylindrical dielectric resonator and this is the micro stiff feed and this is the substrate and then there is below there is a ground plane all these variables are declared here and this the side view see the cylindrical dielectric resonator with height h and head lunar is 10 radius is also 10 mm and this is the micro stiff and this is the substrate above the ground plane and the ground plane right below so this is the cylindrical dielectric resonator antenna which is fed with micro stiff feed and these are all fabricated photos this is the available dielectric resonator and this is the micro stiff feed i am placing the dielectric resonator above this this is the ultimate uh, view of the fabricated prototype of cylindrical dielectric resonator antenna excited with hm on and del mode using strip feed micro stiff feed as you all know myself is dr halko Gizera, department of electronics university of mice right okay let us see how we can do this so as you all know uh, the resonating frequency for this particular mode is this one you just follow this and here what is my input inputs are resonating frequency uh, what we are achieving for that we are feeding a is the radius of the cylinder that is I am taking 10 mm and height of the cylinder H I am considering 10 mm my dielectric constant is 10 epsilon r okay and uh, what I am getting I am getting in this formula exactly resonating at 3.9 gigahertz so see this is the appearance in the simulator what I am going to show you now and this is the resonance I am getting at 4.1 because of the strip feed it is deviated from 3.9 to 4.1 and this is the e plane radiations copole and cross pole and this is the h plane radiation again copole and cross pole combined if i show this will be the radiations right the same i am going to demonstrate or design in hfss let us see uh, this is the hfss plot form and now insert the HFSS so that you will get the the whole different windows to design and simulate antenna okay now let us take one particular that is a rectangular shape now you assign a proper name for that I am telling that as a ground plane and then uh, I am choosing some suitable color for that okay that means copper I am selecting copper from the library okay then you select some suitable color and also transparency as we all know now it is not in the proper position Java adjust in a proper position X Y Z I am taking at the center so that I will take some minus half of the length minus half of the width and 0 mm that means I am placing now 60 I am considering I am so 60 mm means minus 30 minus 30 0 and 30 mm for 60 60 height i am considering 0.5 mm thickness that is the ground plane i am considering just see this is the way how it looks like okay let's see how we can tilt these are the options given in hfss right you can see from any side top view bottom view side view like that and see you to choose that name you will see the color hmm? I think GP ground plane I am reassigning now what we have to do as an micro stiff patch antenna similar to that DRA is also now I have to place above this there is a substrate I am choosing RT to write substrate now take rectangular box again and name it as a substrate SUB short form like that assign for different color here also material you have to choose later wait hmm, from the library 
I am telling 2.33 dielectric constant. You can select from that or by name RT Duroid. Okay. See, this is the RT Duroid 2.33. You can see there. So right. Okay. Assign this and the dimension uh, assign some color, different color compared to that other materials. Okay. Okay. And the dimensions are same as ground plane. That is 60 mm, 60 mm. I am considering. Uh, I have given some space around the DRA to get a proper resonance otherwise you can optimum no problem now I am giving minus 30 mm minus 30 mm and I am putting above the ground plane that's why it is 0.5 instead of 0 in the ground okay now take it 60 60 and height how much as per the substrate there is 1.6 mm I am taking okay right see this is the view of substrate above the ground plane hmm? tilt it and see see below there is other color that is ground plane above there is a another color the material that is called uh, substrate right what we have to do now again above this we have to put the strip feed okay how to calculate strip feed so you just go to google take uh, strip feed calculator like that you give proper input like uh, frequency dielectric constant uh, height like that it will give the strip width and strip length okay now let us consider as per our requirement uh, see the uh, what is that uh, rectangular box that you can call feed line like that name and take uh, some appropriate color for that and this is also a copper okay now i'll give the dimensions as per our calculation i'm placing from one edge uh, from plus x that is uh, plus 30 mm comma uh, i am taken 4.3 mm half of that is 2.15 mm right and i am placing above the substrate that's why it is 1.6 uh, 2.1 mm total 1.6 plus 0.5 okay 2.1 mm so that it will um, put it will be on substrate so now what is the length i got that is 40 mm i have taken just see i am putting now length is 40 mm as per our calculation it may not be fixed you can consider little bit higher low and then width is 4.3 mm for 4.1 gigahertz huh? uh, or whatever it is huh? and uh, thickness is 0 0.03 mm because it is a strip huh? so now see this will be the placed above the substrate as a strip hmm, from the one edge of your ground plane that is plum plus x hmm, 40 mm that's why length is this much right see how it is looking this is the strip uh, feed is ready now and i have to place the cylinder there is a dielectric material i am taking this as a cdr i am naming that as cdr and i am considering the material which is having dielectric constant 10 here i am considering taconic Taconic is one dielectric material which is having uh, dielectric constant 10 mm. So I will assign some suitable color for this also. See how it is. I am making some transparent. Huh? Right. Okay. Uh, see. It is not in a proper position. I want to place at the middle of this. That's why I am putting 0, 0, 0. Huh? X is 0. Y is 0. But Z is above the substrate. That's why it is how much? above the substrate and also above the strip that's why total height is where it should be so 0.5 plus 1.6 plus 0 0.03 mm that is 2.13 mm like that total okay now the radius as i told it is 10 mm height is 10 mm i am considering right and uh, that's all give it see exactly it is placed at the center of your ground plane and this will excite the HMN as per our study huh? and you can shift this if it is not proper huh? but what I got for this particular uh, this one we got it HMN now what I have to do I have to make one particular conductor seat to make that as a port for that and it is vertically oriented along the edge at the edge okay that's why I'm taking again seat and I'm calling that as a port like that hmm? any name assign again suitable color for that name that as a port hmm. okay wait mm -hmm. see i'll this some confused. okay right hmm. you put it without name also no problem huh? it is just a rectangle like that it will appear place it at edge that means 30 mm 
and uh, I am taking 10 mm so that it is minus 5 mm I am considering and as usual it is uh, above the sub uh, from the 0 you have to consider not from minus 5 mm so I will modify this now 10 mm it is along y uh, be careful that you have to change it now 10 mm again 10 mm see it is looking like this here uh, it is not uh, properly uh, so it is z uh, oriented along z i'll change it z z not y or uh, see now what is the change uh, see it is just uh, tilt it and see <coughs> see right even if you place from minus 30 no problem minus 10 or uh, minus 5 no problem otherwise you can put it from 0 because ground rate no uh, okay that is make it uh, at uh, minus 0 only not minus 10 uh, minus 5 okay see uh, this is the way how we can insert or uh, make a uh, port to define the port we need to have some uh, metallic seat so that I got it now okay uh, see I have made I changed a little bit what I made it from 0 it was minus 5 now I made it at 0 now we have to assign radiation box so I am considering the radiation box equal to ground plane dimension height is little bit high that is almost 40 mm or 30 mm you can consider observe your radiation and then modify this is the same procedure assigning name color everything now you can put it more transparent so that you can see inside all the parts now it is not in the proper position now adjust it as per dimensions of the ground plane only height will be high to get a proper radiations right so now I am putting the dimensions as minus 30, minus 30 and it will be started with 0, huh? 0 mm and uh, height is around uh, 60, 60, length 60, 60 but height is I am taking 40 mm from 0. So now see how it is. Hmm. This is the way the air box, it is also called air box or radiation box hmm? and it is uh, needed to uh, execute uh, antenna or analysis the antenna now see this is the way it is looking like this now we have to uh, initiate uh, or assign the radiation box uh, with the proper boundary so for that we have to select the faces except ground plane side face right see I am selecting all but I am not selecting the face which is from the ground plane side see other two I have to select okay hmm. so I have not selected ground plane side okay now assign boundary and make it that as a radiations okay see uh, it is uh, you can put the name now if you go and see it will be looking like this right it is assigned proper radiation boundary now similarly we have to assign the port excitation port that is our next task right see I am tilting and showing hmm? so what just I am showing some huh? see like this okay see uh, this is the way Okay, okay now assign the radiation box what for the what we have to do select the that particular rectangular seat right click on that and you go to assign port huh? okay there you can say wave port not the lumped port here it is attached to the boundary that's why okay uh, see here new line there is an option new line make it proper assigning from uh, ground plane to the other edge okay select it okay right it is defined now now you can de-embed hmm? de-embed means length you have to choose it uh, almost um, part mm equal to that i am selecting see that will be indicated by some particular arrow mark just see from port to the what is the length of the your strip length? that is also okay these are all some of the things are optional okay do it now it is perfectly assigned i think uh, why we need a wave port because our radiation box is attached to the boundary correct yeah, okay oh again i am showing same thing see uh, procedure from bottom to other edge you can choose okay it is defined go to next d embed uh, selecting that it is for tmm i am considering uh, same repeated process is repeated now see it is properly assigned you can see from that side okay now everything is over and you have to why there is some so okay you, you just study why we need wave port when it is needed when we need a lumped port that you have to understand properly 
So then only it is very easy to understand. See, I am showing somewhat extend. That means enlarging. So now again, same procedure. New line, assign embedding, 40 mm. I don't know why it is repeated. Maybe by editing. Right now. Okay, now it is perfect. Hmm? Right. Now what is the next task? So analysis, uh, for analyzing this, what are the other things needed? That is uh, assigning frequency, number of sweeps. Huh? And then we have to assign the radiation, uh, uh, infinite radiation conditions. That is the remaining things here. Now I'll go for uh, what? Mm, sweep. Huh? We have to assign the and this is setup. Go there and fix your frequency. Somewhat it is around the three gigahertz like that, or maybe five gigahertz. I'll take five gigahertz. From uh, three to five, I'm running, and the number of passes also you can select for twenty. Huh? Twenty instead of three or like that. See, I'll change it again. Uh, now from from one to three giga, uh, four gigahertz. One three to five gigahertz. I am running right. A number of passes I am changing now 20, not six. Hmm? That is better, I think. Clear uh, analysis will be given hmm? again. I'll see, see three to five point zero one step size. So these are all the things we will appear. So now I think uh, everything is fine. And uh, one more thing for power field, also you need to say now I am running, it will take more time, but I clipped that. That's why immediately I'm getting, but for your case, you may need some time to observe. Right? So now I can see the input plots. Just see, right click, results. First, you select that S1 on parameter drawing. Right click and see now. Okay. See the S1 on, you got it. Right. Similarly, you can plot uh, uh, Smith chart, uh, VSW, everything is okay now, but you cannot plot the radiation box because we are not yet declared that huh, defined so that is see 4.1 you got it i wanted to thick more that line so that's why i'm making that thicker so that it is easily visible 4.1 gigas with almost 30 db s1 <coughs> uh, see what i'll do i have to define the power field conditions the theta from where to where and pi from where to where that is needed so that I'll do it. See, right click on that uh, power field, infinite sphere like that. So now theta and pi. You can say 0 to 90 degree, only the, that is pi. And again, 0 to 90, 0, 90, 90. Here I'm running from minus 180 to plus 180. I'm plotting that, all the data. That's why minus 180, 180, 1. Now it is allowing to draw the power field characteristics. Now go to same results, power field characteristics, sweep 1. And now gain both the theta and pi I'm selecting with the, it's in a db and here I'm changing the frequency where I want at 4.1 4.1 right choose it properly and see the E and H plane radiation characteristics huh? that is the way we can see you can have many things you can display here see these are the Radiations is running and it is getting the data. Now you can see the E plane H plane combinedly. Just see whatever I discussed in the earlier slides, right? I'm making simply thicker lines to show properly. Okay, and uh, this is the way you can do the uh, design and analyzing the dielectric resonator antenna. There are many things to show still huh? uh, 3dB. Uh, radiation pattern in polar or in a rectangular plot like that and so many animations also I can show you that uh, field pattern how it is hmm? so I think this is sufficient for this particular discussion or this session okay I think you can follow uh, step by step so that you will get it the idea hmm? thank you and as thank usual you for watching if this you and hope you can understand this what I am discussing the area researchers who started the research in the field of dielectric resonator antenna and this topic is only related with cylindrical dielectric resonator antenna and with the HM one on mode as I told it is a fed with micro strip weed and uh, I hope you like this and if you like please share with your friends I will try to put some more videos related with these discussions thank you thank you one and all